And next up is USA 1, Corey Butner. Made his debut earlier in the season. He's also leading the America's Cup, which resumes after the World Championships. He's already had three wins in America's Cup racing this season. So he's certainly not lacking in speed and confidence. Now you can see the push athletes putting their uh, their booties that are protecting the hundreds of little tiny pin spikes on there as they walk around on the wooden concrete. They don't want to damage them. So what happens is they take the boots off of the line, they stuff them in the sled, and they get to the bottom. Voila, they're there for them, ready to go. It's all figured out in the background of Charles Berkeley. Come on! Charles Berkeley, the Olympian. He's a 2010 Olympian. Pushed on USA 2, uh, John Napier's sled at the Vancouver Olympics. And this is only the second time that this crew have pushed together in competition. I think nice and neatly, 5.40 in getaway. And they've been put together, this is going to be the USA 3 crew at the World Championships. The coaches have done a lot of work this week with them to choose who these top three athletes would be, who would then push the top three, the third next driver at the, uh, at the World Championships in the Classic. And of course, the top two are going to be Steve Holcomb, the Olympic champion, and John Napier, who's been USA 2 for most of the season. And they are home in Lake Placid, training up to try and give the USA the best chance of a really big medal haul in the two and four match. Yeah, Corey's put together a really nice trip here. He's on to Kreisel in a great way. You can see the difference in, this, in the way he enters Kreisel from the way some other sled are on snow and ice when, when flying. Well, 27 kilometers now onto the Kreisel, fastest man. Oh, too fast! Oh, that's a rough ride. As the brakeman gets flung, goes flying out of the sled, hopefully he's going to be okay. These athletes are athletes are not enjoying what's happening right now. No, absolutely not. And the sled now comes uphill, and the yeah, Nick Cunningham and his crew try and grab it before it rolls back down. You can see the brakeman there, Dallas Robinson, got spat out. Now, did he get spat out before the line? All their galoshes, all their little over booties are thrown out there as well. That's kind of neither here nor there. And Nikolai Estrati there helping as well. You know, this is a familiar situation for anybody who Absolutely. slips. Absolutely. You can see the German coaches are there helping as well. You know, when you saw the push athlete, the, the brakeman go flying out of the go flying out of the sled in 14. You know, the safest place to be is in the sled, but there's no telling whether he decided it was time for him to get out, yeah. uh, or whether the ice will actually grab you by the back of the shirt and actually pull you out of that point. Because what's happening is, or the he sled's loses on top. his grip in the sled and yeah, gravity for the sled's on top of you, yeah. and you're being pushed into the ice going at speed. Yeah. And he's also a new he's also a new push athlete. That's possibly the first time he's been on his head. That may be the case. It's only his second everybody, ever World Cup race. Everybody looks okay. Yeah. Everybody looks all right. Well, they're going off down to see Dallas Robinson, who did look pretty beat up. Chuck there on the right. Maybe regretting coming back this weekend. Yeah, you can see the rest of the the rest of the crew now. They've checked out these athletes. They're okay. They're heading down there to make sure Dallas. Dallas is alright. He's walking around. He looks okay, but sometimes the shock of it. So what happens here? Let's take a look as Corey gets gets into 12, gets pushed away, so he goes really late. So he's got to drive the sled hard there. He drives it too hard. There's too much pressure at the end. The sled comes up and over. That's corner 8 and corner 12 are the two places on this track where people have the most problems. And uh, and is a new is a new driver. And that happened. You can see the sparks as the runners come and hit the concrete part of the wall there. You can see Dallas Robinson is dragged out there. He didn't kick out. He was just hauled out by the stiction of the ice. Absolutely. And unfortunately, it was in the final corner, so that is a disqualification. Yeah, I mean, the good thing for Dallas is the, the place that if you're going to leave the sled, the, play, the best place to leave it is in pressure because at that point you actually have something to push against. If you're in a straightaway, there's nothing, no telling what could happen, yeah. and then all of a sudden you're in a curve and, and bad things will happen. Yeah. 